What's cracking? What's cracking? Back at it again. Back at it again. <clears throat> Man, the past, like, I want to say like 10 days, two weeks, has been like a little test. You know what I'm saying? I don't look at it like it's bad days or nothing like that. I just look at it as tests. Uh, from, you know what I'm saying? All kind of shit is going on. Um, but everything that popped up, you know what I'm saying? We handled that shit and we made that shit look easy. As usual, you know what I'm saying? Today is... Wednesday, March the 6th, 6.20 a.m. And we just got out of the gym. Just got finished making love and destroying them goddamn weights. Can you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Just fresh up out the gym. I usually have a little bit more energy than this, but you know what I'm saying? The motherfucking dotes. Whoop your ass. Especially if you're going to failure, them motherfucking delts. It's crazy. Right? Got my little post workout uh, <clears throat> recovery drink. I wouldn't say it's like a meal or a protein because it ain't, I don't think it got no protein. I'm, it might have something in one of them powders. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, man. We got that drink, we got that drink, and uh, we about to knock this joint down. But today, we did delts. Shoulders, for y'all don't know what delts are. We did shoulders, side, back, rear, whatever you wanna call it, front. We did delts shoulder work today in the gym. I got some incredible work. Uh, and some of the best exercises for shoulders you can get it done on cables before I came back to like a public gym that had access to free weights um, of all sizes and different machines I built myself the foundation on strictly cables let me roll this window up <clears throat> the foundation was built on strictly cables right you'll have a lot of influencers or gym people who will tell you you can't get the results you want because you won't you don't have the equipment you need and in some cases uh well, I think in no cases are they right because um, you can get fucking ripped off of anything. You know what I mean? Completely, if you don't want to be shredded, you can just be a big, bulky son of a bitch. Or you can be diced up, cut up, shredded up, ready for the motherfucking whores in the summertime choice is yours you know what I'm saying um, so some of the workouts I did was uh, like uh, lateral raises um, front raises with a straight bar front raises with dumbbell or DB front raises uh, I did Arnold presses I did shoulder press machine uh, I did um, incline I don't even know. I think it's alternating shoulder press when you kind of leave one in the air and then you bring one down and then you switch, but you always have one in the air fully extended. I can't fully extend because I'm in a little ass Honda. You know what I'm saying? But you get the point of what I'm trying to get across. I did, uh, I kind of, I warm up with uh, pull-ups. Um, I ain't cracking out no fucking pull-ups because I'm heavy as a bitch. No, I'm not in the 200s whatso fucking ever. Now, if I was, I'd be a motherfucker. I'd be shaking the fucking game up right now. 
But in due time In due motherfucking time Oh Baby In due time But We got these arm, these shoulders Taken care of today They nice and exhausted All reps to failure And some machines Depending on the weight Is going to be hard to failure because it's like once you reach that point of no return you're not pushing anymore especially with delts like once your delt is failed it's it's kind of hard to get half reps on them unless you're doing lighter weight or like a cable cable you'll get uh easier reps to failure on cables than it is doing machines with heavier weight slow your motherfucking roll boy um that's my experience um shit i've been lifting weights on and off since goddamn 2008 um i've been experienced with it because of football before i even got into it doing it like recreationally on my own you know because it's one thing to do it in the sport but then it's a total different beast when you're not being forced to do something and you're just doing it on your own power every day. It's it's a different dynamic there, you know. Um, yeah, and we uh, after we got done with those delts, we hopped on that treadmill, uh, got a good mile in, a nice good, uh, a nice stride, decent pace um kicked it up a bit at the last couple at the last tenth of a mile i kicked it up um a little higher to like maybe 70 percent 80 percent of a run um yeah that was definitely the the finisher right there um i love fucking running but you know, it's a difficult task to do once you've completed a hard lifting session. It's easier to run before you lift. You know, whatever you do first, you're going to exalt most of your energy in doing that, right? So, if you lift first, you'll have less energy for your run. Which is totally fine, and I think it's actually better that way. Um, and I'll get into that in a second. But if you run first, you'll put more energy into your run, into your cardio, than you would into your lifting because you've already warmed up and now your body is like, okay, this is the meal, you know? This isn't, this isn't dessert, right? This is the meal. So I'm going to eat here and you'll find yourself pushing harder than you normally would. I ain't got no booger, G. My motherfucking nose hair. Do people trim their nose hairs, bro? Because my shit, bro, my nose hairs be tweaking. I ain't going to lie to you. Nose hairs be on, and especially in the, this is more in the morning time. I don't know what the fuck is up with that. Um, yeah, but whatever workout you, you, you find yourself doing first, you're going to exalt more energy into that. So make sure what your foundation or what you truly aiming, what you're truly aiming to accomplish, you put out first. So if you want to get a great workout, if you're looking to gain muscle, you definitely should be lifting weights first before your cardio. Um, if you're doing both in one session now if you're spreading it out through the day it really doesn't matter because you're going to go back and eat you're going back and rehydrate you're going back and rest so it really doesn't matter but if you're combining both if you don't have if you're not uh loaded with time on your hands then i suggest you uh put the important things first and push the cardio to the back If cardio is important to you, then do cardio, all right? <clears throat> but in my case, 
when I get to that mile, um, it's, you know, I used to, I used to do my cardio in the morning. Then I would go lift at night or, uh, you know, vice versa, or I would box it at, uh, during the evening. So I didn't really take notice on the way my body reacted after a workout session and trying to kick it back up again for another thing. I didn't have to worry about that. Damn, it's foggy and it's hope. But now I'm starting to see after that workout, that run is a little bit more challenging and I like it. And it's actually better. Like I said, I'll get into it, but here we go. It's better um, to do your cardio or to run or do Stairmaster after you're tired because the cardio gives you a little bit more of a push because you're not dealing with a fresh pair of legs, a fresh energy system. Your, 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 your heart rate is already pushing. Your body is already sweated out most of the good salts and nutrients that you need. So now you're in a, I don't want to say a survival state, but you're definitely um, running low on energy at this point. And if you can knock out your cardio in that state, well, you're just going to be in phenomenal shape, my friend. Whenever you do need to use it, you know what I mean? If you got to chase somebody down, if you got to, whatever you got to do, just imagine you being fresh and having to do it rather than you just lifted weights for a fucking hour and then doing it. You get me? So uh, don't worry about being tired, you know, moral of the story. Get the work in that you need to get in um, and keep pushing day in and day out, man. You're going to get to the promised land we're going to get to the promised land and when we do the results are going to be that much sweeter you know so i might have some changes coming up in the next few weeks my content might change a little bit i'm not sure i got some changes that's going to happen in my life um so until then fellas ladies do your thing Get on your job, knock out them weights, uh, stay prosperous, show love to your peoples, and stay blessed, man. I'm out. That's the end of this video. Peace.